Hi everyone, uh, so today's video, I want to talk about the arrow point. And um, this, this is the one that specifically I want to mention about because um, all this while we have been told that uh, you shouldn't use broadhead on, on targets because it wears out the target more quickly and therefore they are usually not allowed at archery range. Uh, which is actually true, which is actually true, okay? So the long blades of the broadhead, um, they do shred the target a lot quicker. Uh, but what if you have somewhat like a target point, but with squarish or sh kind of sharp edges, just like the Botkin point, right? This, this is not like, you know, the, the blade sticking out. So. The diameter is pretty much um, very similar to a target arrow but with sharp edges I guess. Um, will this wear out your target more or less? Um, theoretically, I thought about, because you know, I, I actually I had a long interest in uh, improving the target lifespan so that uh, you save cost because you know targets are not exactly cheap and uh, if you wear a target quickly uh, that's where your money burns right so you want a target to actually last as long as you can and um, I, I have always been trying to improve the lifespan of the target uh, by looking for different material and this material right here known as the HR foam is actually one of my uh, favorite material so uh, let me just show you like this is uh, just a target point okay our Taurus carbon arrow target point and this kind of target point is actually they are not sharp okay they are not sharp they're pointy but not sharp so uh, let me show you if I if I were to puncture this okay and I pull them out okay uh, this one here right so you can see that it actually recovers pretty good. The material here is uh, has a pretty good recovery compared to uh, the EVA foam that I used to use. Uh, EVA foam, if you pull them out, you, the hole is pretty big. So this one actually recovers quite well. Uh, the self-healing property is actually pretty good. Um, but, but you can see the rest of the target here. So um, there are impact marks right so I was I was thinking how do I improve the uh, reduce the wear and tear because the reason why they, they leave marks is that during the impact with a high arrow speed the the way that this actually punch into the, the, the target is by brute force shearing so because they are not sharp right they are not sharp they are they are blunt they're actually blunt the uh, the camera may not catch it very well but the tip of this point is not even sharp it's actually round so when it impacts it it by brute force it pushes and rips the material material apart uh, which is why you cause this kind of indentation from the heat uh, of the impact because when you impact with a, with a high speed you suddenly try to stop it uh, it generates a lot of heat and so the heat will actually kind of melt the material and therefore we, we get all this kind of uh, uh, indentation even though they do close up the center of it do close up but uh, it still leaves a mark surrounding the, the impact zone okay and I thought how can we reduce this um, well theoretically a point like this because it um, it cuts its way through uh, instead of ripping it apart then it won't leave this kind of scarring and it will, it will actually close up better. So I thought, oh, you know what? I have this point from like 10 years ago or more. I don't remember how long it was. Uh, so I thought, oh, let's give it a try. Let's, let's stab this target. And uh, the result was nice. Okay, so I'm gonna, oh, make sure, just to make sure that, that uh, you see this, this point is not even small, it's huge. Okay, it's a huge point compared to this target point. It's pretty large. So this one definitely caused serious damage, but, but supposedly if you have a target point, target point size, and you kind of have like a squarish edges, um, 
it would be a smaller profile than this one here, but let's see what this one will do. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm being very generous and I really stab it really good. Uh, so this this part here is even bigger than the diameter of an arrow. But let's have a look. Uh, where is it? I, I think it's this one up here. Okay, have a look. Oh, uh, where is it? I think it's this one. Yeah. Uh, so it's it's very very minimal. You see that? It's so minimal. Uh, if you try to pull it apart, you can you can actually see that the uh, there is like a X shape. Do you see that? Are you able to see it? I well, hope you see it. But it's it's very it's very minimal. In person, it's very very minimal. Hold on, where is it? This one up here. See, it's it's hard to see, huh? It's up here. Not this one. This one is the the one that has been done with the target point. It's here. Okay. So damage is very minimal. Recovery is extremely good. Again, let me point it. It's up here, not not down here. This one here is target point. It's up there. It's almost not there. <laughs> so, uh, recovery from a point like this is excellent. Okay, this is excellent. And uh, I, I also tested, what if you shoot the same zone multiple times? So let's stab it a few more times. Okay, now you start to see more damage, right? Okay, so as you can see, I stab it a lot of times. But compared to these, that's a lot, a lot better, right? So the lifespan of the target would have been a lot longer if you were to use this kind of point. So um, I do not know what kind of uh, the application this new knowledge would be, but I would think that a target point in which it has um, some sort of a fusion design between these two would have given you a target point that would uh, cause very minimal wear on the target but so you know the damage done by this one is definitely not as much as you thought uh, yeah, so I do not know any application like, like um, will anyone actually make such a design? I don't know because the uh, disadvantage of this kind of design is that if you if your arrow collides with, with each other, uh, this one will do quite a lot of damage not to the target but, but to your arrows. <laughs> if you Robin Hood with this one, you you know it's gone. <laughs> so this one will actually be quite damaging to your arrows, but. Um, if you talk about target lifespan, uh, this may be unexpected. You, you would expect this to do more damage, but you know, for my test, the botkin design here, like that, uh, actually reduces the, the wear and tear. So, I don't know, maybe, maybe in the future we might have such a point. Um, Maybe maybe a compromise in between so that you have a, like a target point with you know maybe a bit more squarish edges to reduce wear and tear. Uh, yeah, I do not know what kind of application is there for this knowledge, but it's still cool to know that uh, you know for for as as much as you know about archery, you always thought this would cause more damage, but it doesn't. <laughs>